Hey friends, it's New Year's Eve here, and before I head out for the night, I thought I'd do a quick lesson, uh, and this one is by request from one of my followers, James Smith, and thank you for sending in a request. It helps me get ideas for new videos, and what he asked was if I could do a video on how to play a galloping rhythm. So let's get to it. All right, so when we talk about a galloping rhythm, we're basically talking about the type of thing you hear in a song like Barracuda, or is very common in songs by bands like Iron Maiden, and it sounds something like this. Now you can do a lot of things with that other than just the basic gallop, but let's first take a look at what makes up the core of it, and then we'll talk about variations. So if you break this down at its core, it starts with a simple accented downstroke, and then a triplet, which is down, up, down. So accent, and then down, up, down. Now usually when someone plays this in a rhythm, they have a bunch of those uh, triplet down, up, down parts, and then an accented part. So it'll be like the accent and then... And commonly, if you're going to do this, say like uh, a measure at a time and play a chord, whereas if I played straight eighth notes using the same kind of uh, progression I just did, so it would be... Right, so as a gallop, you're gonna to get to a point right before you switch chords at the end of the measure where that last triplet is only two. So you have the accent, then you have the one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So right before you switch, that last dun 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 is just a dun dun, <laughs> if you wanna call it that. So it's an accent, and then three of the triplets, and then one of the just doubles. So it's an accent, three triplets, one double, and then start again on the next chord with an accent. So. And that's your most basic 101 galloping rhythm. Now you can do a lot with this other than just the basic gallop by messing around with where you put accents and doing things with uh, mixing up how many times you do the triplet before you go to the accented one again, the down, the downbeat accented one. But I like to use this in all different places, even on and riffs rather than just chords. So I can do like a... It's a very useful or like multi-usable type of rhythm, I guess you could say. There are a lot of things that are galloping adjacent. And that was one of them. I can even use them in leads to connect parts. So if I'm playing here, maybe up in the pentatonic area, and I wanna get down to say over here somewhere in the Ionian, I might put it together. And connecting between two pieces or two boxes that I like to play and using a gallop to get there rather than just you know it's just more interesting and more exciting and you can make parts that are melodic and also rhythmic at the same time with it so my basic point is think of ways that you can take it and use it uh, other than just the very standard first 101 type of gallop and mess around with different accents and do little bits of things, do it with leads, do it with rhythms like I was doing here, and you've got something that is usable and reusable rather than just the one basic gallop rhythm. Just by way of a couple final examples here uh, that I can think of to help give you ideas, instead of just playing the, the downbeat on the lowest part, I can start with a, a higher part of the chord and then go to the low note. Adding a double hit in there. Very 80s type of stuff, but it sounds cool and you can find ways to modernize it. Another example would be not so much a change in the rhythm and accents, but using it to, rather than moving chords, outline different uh, variations in the chords, like where I play, like say, a B minor, and then I can play the B minor with the minor sixth, then the fourth. But at its core, it always comes back to the downstroke followed by the triplet. 
So I hope that gives you some ideas. I kind of floated around a little bit there and just did different things to, to show you where we could go with it. Um, if you want to see like maybe a more detailed lesson on five variations on the galloping rhythm, I can do something a little bit more specific and break it down, uh, more granularly for you. That's a tough word to say, granularly. But this was just the basic primer on a galloping rhythm and a few examples. I uh, hope I answered your question, James, and for anybody else who's looking at uh, what a galloping rhythm is. And if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, as you can tell, I'm happy to answer them. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.